what's going on everyone welcome back to another video so today we're going to be installing the duck bell spoiler um that's because it's actually not that cold this is two days from the unboxing so i unboxed it wednesday i believe or tuesday i don't know and today is friday i just got off work and it's actually pretty decent outside it's not like below 15 which is the reason why i didn't want to install it to begin with anytime soon but it's not raining it's not cold it's not windy so we're gonna go ahead and do that install today i have everything that i need right here for the install and as well as a tool or two in here so yeah these are the essentials for the day first things first we have to remove all the plugs So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You just gotta lift this tab up and then yank that out. There you go. Six more to go. I guess technically you don't have to take these off. The tabs I'm talking about is that one, that one, that one, and that blue one right in there. I've seen people just like yank the spoiler up once they get these 8 millimeter. Clearly, I have the worst luck in existence. Um, the bolt broke. What in the actual? The one on that side is coming out pretty smooth because I'm going a lot slower. It took me a sweet, sweet time. And the bolt freaking fell in here too. Thank God. This one's coming out pretty smooth too, but apparently two broken bolts. You know what though? The good thing is, is that even though the bolts broke, the spoiler is still coming off. Look at that. The screw, look at the screws coming out with it. <laughs> Got him second bolt retrieved also the second bolt that was broken so two for two of each we're good we're good you're gonna want to squeeze the clip and then push off the spoiler at the same time and you see that clip already came out there you go then you're gonna do the same with the other ones going to because I want to I want my spoiler my duck bill to I mean I guess I could let it dry if I did use goo gone but I mean a lot of people like to use like rubbing alcohol we got the rubbing alcohol and we need one of these Stuff. It's like hard as dirt. So 
Let's test it. Fitment Loki is really good. It's not too bad. Hell yeah. Love it. You gotta place your mounting tape. So that you don't lose the position that you want your duckbill or whatever other spoiler. Boom. Boom. Next, we gotta put the 3M tape on the duckbill. to look something like that something like that and then off of each 3m tape we're gonna want to lift it up a little bit so i lifted the tabs up from the 3m tape and then i taped it to this side so when i go to put it on i have somewhere to grab from to take off the rest of it so what i'm doing to patch up the holes uh so water doesn't get through is i bought tal que compré some flex tape some waterproof flex tape and i've been covering all the holes from the inside but i think it's pretty good And don't forget to put these back on. And also, don't forget to put your liner back on. Bam! Pretty high up, pretty aggressive. The fitment's pretty spot on. Uh, at some point, I do want to bondo this. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. For being aftermarket. <laughs> <laughs> 